Hello family, it's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your fall equinox pick a cord. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. What's up family? So with that being said, let's talk a little bit about what's going on. We have the big fall equinox on the northern hemisphere and on the other side of the world, they're going into the spring equinox. So this is happening in the sign of Libra. This is going to bring balance to everything that we planted back in April. Things are coming to be harvest. So the day and the night will be of equal time um, and we're leading into that winter solstice, all right? So if you're on the Northern Hemisphere, you're focusing on about relationships, you're harvesting these, you're celebrating existing relationships, and you're honoring the end of the summer season. Now on the other side, it's time for you to seed these things. It's time for you to start new relationships. So with that being said, take a few moments, add a deep breath, and pick one, two, or three. All right, now these will be time stamps, so you'll be able to pick the ones that you wanna see or you can watch them all. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Hit that like, that share, subscribe, even hit that bell so you'll no be notified every time I have a video coming up. All right, fam, let's see what card number one has for us. Okay, if you chose card number one or pile number one, you have a lot of good, vibrant, high vibing energy coming through for you. You start off with the dream weaver and this is about going to bed with a clear conscience. It's time for you to pay attention to the visions and the dreams that you've been getting, keeping yourself a little journal that have really important messages, especially from deceased loved ones. Um, you might want to explore lucid dreaming or put on some kind of sleep meditation because your dreams are manifesting into reality. It goes into that subconscious energy. So whatever you're playing in your subconscious, it's going to work out in your conscious. So you should check out Dr. Lipton also. He talks about this so much and he can, he can actually break it down for you so clearly so you can understand how that subconscious energy is affecting you in day-to-day -day actions, all right? So dreams can come true. Pay attention to those dreams that you're having and also if there's any messages from any loved ones on the other side. Now, dance comes in that you need to celebrate those things that you that you have going on for you right now. Remember, you're, you're going through your harvest, you're getting things, or you're starting something new, depending on what side of the hemisphere you are. Now, we're in the sign of Libra, so we're looking for balance in all things. So it's time for you to sleep, it's time for rest, but it's also time for you to pay attention to the celebrations that are going on. Make sure that you're honoring yourself and having fun and enjoying yourself. Grandmother Earth comes in, and this is, I love this card because, especially that it came out with the Dreamweaver. Grandmother Earth is just telling you to assess things. Make sure that you're grounded. Make plans for the future, but you don't necessarily have to act on them. This is slowing down a little bit, okay? Celebrate your successes and don't move too fast. There's new beginnings on the horizon. So this is security and protection. They're all around you. You're safe and secure, but this is not the time to gamble. Now, if you're doing a financial investment and it's really secure and you're thinking about doing this and it has, it's not a gamble, it's something that's a financial investment, this is the go for it, all right? Now, the well is coming through and it's telling you to honor your soul's purpose. Make sure that you're going through your emotions. You might even want to get your Akashic records read, those kinds of things. But this is you learning to balance your work and sleep or your work and personal life, right? You need to get some sleep during this time. So let's jump into the tarot and see what it has for you. Then we'll look at health and your crystal, all right? I'm going to give it three more shuffles. Let's see what we got here. Ah! There we go. So as I cut the deck, I have a spirit guide coming through for you with the seven of arrows. So I want to say it, this is like a call to movement, right? There's some things that need to be done to get the information that's needed to move forward. You will be receiving some information during this time. Maybe it's about that investment that you want to do. However, it's coming through. Celebrate those things in your life that need celebrating. Seems like you've been all work. <laughs> all you've been doing 
brain is working. It's time for you to have fun. All right, let's see here. We have a spirit guide. The Ten of Pentacles. I do feel like there's some financial abundance coming in from the family and the universe because something's coming to a finale. Look at this. Oh my gosh, you have like a ton of majors at the bottom of the deck. So your overall energy is the sun. So it's a yes. Whatever you're planning to do, especially if it's a financial investment, go for it. Now, you have the Hermit and Judgment right behind the sun. So for some of y'all, y'all are deciding about going back to school, increasing your education, maybe visiting the back for the loan, something of that nature. However, it's time to make a decision, all right? So we're going to start off with a spirit guide coming through for you. And it's interesting because he's got the pine cone, and that's attributed to the pineal gland, okay, known as your third eye. And it seems like it's clearing the way for dream state. I'm going to say it's time for you to start paying attention to your dreams. You are getting a lot of help while you're sleeping. Help from the other side, help from your angels, however you want to think about that. What do they need to know? And you are getting the nine of wands. Some of y'all will be going on a lot of vacations. There's also opportunity for new work opportunities. Now, this nine of wands going into the ten of pentacles. You are going to fight for your money, fight for your family. You're going forward and it's going to be complete. What's interesting is the Ten of Pentacles is a completion and the universe is a completion. So I do feel like whatever's been going on starting with the spring, is it the spring equinox? Now we're going to, we're going to do a finality with the fall, right? So let's see that universe. What does the universe want us to know? For some, there's a decision that we're coming to, enough saying that everything is okay when it's not okay, or you're dealing with somebody who's saying it's not okay and you've come to a final decision. I do feel like there's a lot of choices being made during this time, and if you pay attention to your dream state, you will be receiving those answers. And let's see here. We have the seven of arrows reversed. Basically, the way you're going to make this decision how to move forward is with the information that is coming your way. So be ready that during this season, you have a lot of things coming to the forefront. All right. Now, Lord Ganesh is coming through for you. So it's infinite abundance. I feel like there's going to be huge obstacles removed out of your way during this season. Everything that you've been working for and putting all that time and effort into, it's going to pay off. All right. Now, for your health aspect of this, you have a judgment and judgment is attributed to issues with man-made polluting toxins, nuclear power waste, and food. I put food. I think it could be like food poisoning. Be very careful of what you're eating. I'm going to say also keeping your digestive system very clear, eating a lot of green grapes because that's one of the herbs that they have listed for this. Grapes, ivy, marigold, and violet. We're going to take a look at violet. The crystal attributed to this card is hematite and where's the other one? Malachite. Really interesting. I thought they had fallen out for the other ones. So those are two crystals that can help with um, the health issues that judgment brings in for you. And that's interesting that you have judgment and the universe in your spread. So it's time for you to make decisions, even a health conscious decision during the season so that you can make things complete. All right. Now, the herb that we're going to use is a violet. All right. And violet is affiliated with the planet of Venus or Pluto. And violets are used in love spells and can be carried in an amulet, and you can combine them with lavender to enhance that. Violets are rich in antioxidants, vitamin C and A. They make a beautiful tea. You can drink them, you can eat them, and they're very good for you. All right, and your crystal is wolfenite. So the powerful energies of this stone ensure that you're in touch with all of your feelings. There's no hiding or repressing. All right, it supports magical endeavors and heals the negative religious experiences. Now, once this is done, it's the higher self working, okay? It also completes um, karmic cycles for you. Wolfenite works with the reproductive cycle in the body and it promotes the balance of female hormones. This card signifies a need to identify those whom you have a soul contract. Go beyond the needs of the ego and work at a spiritual level until the lesson of the task is complete. So I kind of feel like with all these completions, all these things coming to an end, you're actually realizing it was worth all the work that you've put in and you're honoring your path as you move forward. 
All right, let's jump into card number two. Okay, card number two. You start off with the tree of life, and this is contemplation. And nothing can grow. Nothing can grow. A person, idea, nothing, unless it's properly nourished. And so during this time, it's about really taking care of yourself, having a good, solid foundation so that you can move forward because that's going to be key to your success, taking responsibility for your actions, making lots of plans, and a challenge is truly a blessing in disguise. But decisions need to be made. This is like a time for you to reinvent yourself. You're starting to rewrite your story, changing the way that you view things, changing the way that you're moving forward. Now, you have the beautiful flowing river, okay? And this means everything is falling into place. Stop resisting, all right? Let go of the edge and just go with the flow. And if you're not feeling these very current this this very smoothly, this is because you're trying to control situations. You might be too self-critical or judgmental. So take it easy, all right? If there's something or someone you need to forgive during this season, this card is uh, significant to saying it's time for this. This is also your time to forgive yourself. So if you've been doing a business venture, a relationship, whatever it is, forgive yourself for those things that weren't working out and move forward. Now, you have dragonfly emergence coming in. And I love the dragonfly and, and it, because it talks about, when you look at the dragonfly's energy, it's significant to being able to change from being in the water to in the air, all right? So you're going from highly emotional to being able to make some air-like decisions, all right? This is the nature goddess, and uh, like the dragonfly, she's emerging from the water, and this goddess emerges to let you know that you're ready, you're renewed, your power and purpose are renewed. So this is like a time for you to reinvent, and you're starting to come on out with yourself. This is like broadening your horizons and seeing things from a different perspective. All right? Now, koala comes in for you to start paying attention to what people are saying and start listening more. Not, not necessarily to speak so much, but trusting your empathic abilities. You can feel what's going on. You know what's going on. Now it's important that you trust what's going on. So let's give it a few shuffles, and then we will see what's going on when I cut the deck. Okay, I'm cutting the deck. And I have the sun with the five of arrows reversed. So basically what the sun is saying, yes, there were some regrets in the past, especially in a love situation, but now it's time to move forward. It goes right back to that emergence. We're going to start over. We're going to replant. Okay. Actually, today I spent a lot of time with my oldest daughter replanting some of our plants. I was like, we need to do this. We need to do that. And she was like, oh my gosh. I was like, yeah, I love my babies. <laughs> But she was like, I want to spend some time with you. And I was like, well, let's go. Let's go Gordon, baby. We have the Eight of Cups, the Devil, and a Spirit Guide reversed. And then we have a beautiful energetic sign of the Princess of Ari Arrows tied to Ari Aries. Ah, I can't even speak Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. However, this is being able to communicate effectively. We're learning to communicate. We're thinking about what we're saying before we say it. All right? That's that koala energy. Now, with this Eight of Cups energy in the past, okay, this is you neglecting maybe your emotions. Remember, we're in the water. We're flowing river, and we're emerging out of this emotional, like, we don't want to pay attention to it. We just want it to go away. And it's like, no, we've got to free ourselves from this, from this illusion that we're going through. Now, this is where Gilgamesh is going after the plant of life. However, he gets right there. He takes a break, and then the snake eats it. So... Do not give up on whatever you're doing. Tree of life is saying conception. You've got to nurture your emotions. You've got to nurture yourself as you're going into this season. Now, the devil is attributed to the sign of Capricorn. And this right here is the beast of burdens that he's on. This is the donkey. Now, 
The snakes are supposed to be symbolic of wisdom here, but there's a lot of stuff going on right here. Lamatsu is trying to get through the underworld. Unfortunately, there's too much to balance. So this is almost a time for you to start looking at those illusions you might have on yourself. Those, I want to say like procrastination, um, self-sabotage, those kinds of behaviors that are getting in the way of you getting your full potential, right? So let's look at this devil a little bit closer. Even in financial situations, all right? So let's see what he wants us to know. Oh, spirit guide. So I feel like you're trying to be blessed. And I keep seeing princesses, like even earlier I saw one. I have another one right here. So I'm going to say be very aware that you are going to receive information that might change the way you view things. So let's look at this um, spirit guide. What does the spirit guide want us to know about the Eight of Cups? justice so i love this card it's from the star man tarot and if you have here the balancing of your heart and your mind in order to move forward and this is making very fair decisions very rational decisions okay the sign of libra coming through for you during this time is telling you to utilize the energy of balance and being fair all right being fair to yourself and to others because sometimes you're putting others before yourself when they tell you oh i promise you i got you and so you get them and then they never got you okay start paying attention to those things it's time for you to nurture yourself as opposed to everyone else now we have another beautiful spirit guide and this is where you're failing to give yourself unconditional love all right and that's what the deer represents so maybe you're doing for everyone and you're not doing for yourself. You have another major coming through and it's the Hierophant. So with justice by the Hierophant, this is also if you're going back to school or something like that, don't neglect your emotions where you're just all one way and not the other. But the Hierophant here is half wolf man, right? So, and then he has this beautiful little lamb on the side. I don't know if you can see that. But this is a balance of energy. It's like own your energy, own what's going on. As you're going through this, this is about you deciding spiritually, emotionally, physically, educational wise, how are you going to make the most fair decision for everyone involved? All right. And then we have the energy of the Princess of Arrows as your overall energy. This is going to be having you focus on the way you're communicating, the way you're showing up on social media. Do not neglect your emotions by trying to I don't know, try to project yourself as something that you're not right now. And this is really important for you as you move forward because you need to learn to take care of yourself. All right. Kind of want to see what this um, beautiful princess has for us. We're going to go to a different kind of deck for you guys. You know, all kinds of cards pulling for you. We're going to use Seeds of Shakti. What's going to come out for them? Interesting. We have Flower of Life and Lotus. So... With the lotus flower coming up, it says rise and unfold, unfold, expand your beautiful soul. I feel like it's time for you to show who you are. But the thing about the lotus flower is it opens up to the sun and it closes at night. Learn your cycle. Stop doing stuff for everybody and start doing things for yourself. The flower of life, this is like everything is connected. The fact that you're overworking in one area means that you're underworking in another. So pay attention to that. You're trying to balance those energies. When you feel like you're overloaded emotionally, this is where you have to go back to start nurturing yourself. All right? Now, your... I have an extra card for you guys. Learn to take action. The journey to find yourself is one step at a time. So I kind of feel like you're going through phases right now. All right. And then you have for your health reading, you have the Knight of Staffs, which is known as the Knight of Swords. He is attributed to issues with shoulders, respiratory problems, um, lots of nervous energy, okay? So maybe getting yourself a massage, making sure that you're drinking a lot of water to keep that mucus away and stay away from dairy. Now, the, the herb that's attributed to this is wild cherry bark, and it's great for coughs and colds and bronchitis. However, I'm going to give you a little bit of information over chamomile. It's, it's, it's also something that's going to be good for your nerves, okay? So, chamomile is known as the ground apple, probably because of its fragrance. It smells like apple. And it was used in Egypt for fevers, okay? D uh, dedicated to the sun god Ra. Now, this chamomile is associated with the sun, with Leo, and the element of water. It's attributed to the fifth chakra. It's going to open up that throat so you can express yourself more, okay? In magic, it's used for spells for money, peace, love, and tranquility, and purification. 
You can use them in a bath, drink them in a tea. I know we, we in my culture, we use it to calm colic down in babies, all right? Now, washing your hands with chamomile water also brings gambling luck, all right? Or carry a little sachet with you, all right? Full of chamomile so you can bring in some money, okay? So, with that being said, that's the herb that I picked for you guys. Your guide coming through is charity, prayer, and contemplation. The angel charity is drawing close to you at this time because it recognized all the good things you have in your heart and that, you, that you've been putting everyone else first, all right? And you're being guided to take a breath and learn to receive and know that you'll have like a different surge of energy when that happens. It's time for you to go towards things in prayer and meditation, okay? Your crystal is Suglite, and this is for cleansing. And Suglite is a wonderful stone for clearing the mind of unnecessary and debilitating belief systems now, okay? It absorbs and repeats things uh, that's been limiting you, and it helps get rid of just negative vibes, all right? So this works for your third eye chakra, Anja, and it enhances your intuitive skills. Now on a physical level, it just helps with um, the immune system, relieving pain, and other conditions. This card indicates a need to declutter your mind and environment from all that is unnecessary and negative. How can you invite openness and growth into your life? And it's interesting that it says growth because you have the tree of life coming in. And the tree of life is saying that in order for that acorn to grow into a tree, you have got to learn to nurture yourself. That idea, that relationship, whatever it is that you've been working on, remember that you're taking care of that so that you can move to the next level. All right. Now let's go to number three. Okay, time for card number three. This is about you really finding out your true power and really stepping into who you are. So the fire card coming out is all about passion. I love how she has that beautiful fire in her face. And this is a fear of fire strings from a past life. If you're afraid of the fire, something like that is trying to draw that to a past life or something that happened in the past, you're afraid to get burned. But it's time for you to go towards what your passions are telling you to do. And remembering the energy of fire, fire can, can break away those things that need to be burned away, burning away those fears and moving forward. Now, it's interesting that you even have fire with lightning, this lightning power that's coming through. This is about knowing your power and strength and how are you getting through the storm? So sometimes when we're in a storm, we either view the storm as good or we view it as bad. And this is just saying that the storm is a storm. Finding your element of power is easily available to you. All right. So in this moment that you might have some fears coming up because you're afraid that history may repeat itself or things might be like they were in the past. This is telling you to take that ownership of your power and move forward. Now, smudging ceremonies coming in, and I would say more fire. <laughs> it's just time to let go of the past. It's time to detox, release whatever isn't serving you, clean your home, clean your body, clean your phone, clean out your social media. Everything needs to be cleared out right now. Clutter is not just physical, clutter could be mental and spiritual. So using the smoke in this would, ha would be great to clear the vibe, all right? And no, some things take more than sage, all right? <laughs> you might need some juniper berries up in there to really get rid of it or some mugwort. Anyways, you have the animal energy of the lion coming in. So be sure that you're asking for what you want and that you're facing things with courage. I also want to say that this looks like a lot of Leo energy for me because of the lion and the fire sign coming out. So I would say this is about you harnessing that Leo courage to move forward, own your power, release the past, and step into who you are. Very strong energy coming in for you. Let's cut the deck and see what we got going on. So I'm the hangman reversed. Now that would take us back to um, the 11 card, which is justice, right? So we're being hung up. We're hung up on things in the past, hung up on things that aren't working for us. And it's going to be important for us to invest in ourselves or invest in something that's going to take us to that next level. All right. And just because I say invest does not mean that it has to be a relationship. This could be financial. This could be your business. Apply the read how you see fit. Not everything is about love, okay? <laughs> Sometimes I get career reads. I really like doing those. Or business reads when I help people like plan their business. Oh, absolutely love those. All right. First position, we have the Hermit. King of Pentacles. 
And then it's look more lion energy and then the fool upright. Oh my goodness, I kind of feel like you're going back to school, you're facing your fears, you're not even going back to school, you're going back and you're getting what you need. Some of you are getting spiritually enlightened with the hermit and the king of pentacles right there. You might have some earthy energy coming through to give you that boost of confidence that you need. Now, I want to clarify what the, I'm going to use the Starman Tarot just because I like it, okay? <laughs> and I love this deck because I love all the artwork. Look, two kings in this. Are you afraid you're not going to get that promotion? Are you afraid that it's not going to happen because you didn't get it in the past? Well, this is saying, sit your ass down and go get your money, all right? Go get what's coming towards you. You have the king of cups coming through, right? And the king of cups was coming through with the hermit. So you have been learning, you have been developing, and now you're getting this off. The King of Pentacles now is coming in. And so two kings being in your read, I kind of feel like you're getting promoted. You're getting recognized. Whew, yes, you are. More Leo energy. Spotlights on you. More fire burning for you. Number three, what you got going on? I feel raises. I feel recognition. I feel like you're going to get exactly what you want because you're going to start asking for it. You're not going to let things happen anymore. You're going full-fledged force, all right? So let's see what the spirit guide has. Okay, let's see here. It's gonna go with the prince, of, not the prince, six of cups. So I do feel like there's a lot of celebrating. This might you, this with the sun and the six of cups, some of y'all are going to be expanding your family, expanding your horizons, expanding. Everything is growing. It's like spreading like wildfire, <laughs> all right? And you have this new beginning coming through. So two kings in this little spread for you. This season is gonna be a time of recognition, being well known and starting your new endeavor. Some of y'all might be even working with children during this time and you're going to be super successful it's going to be something that's going to touch your heart because um leo energy is very much childlike innocence all right they like to have fun they're all about having a good time so lots of good vibes coming in for you making sure that you don't get yourself stuck by looking at the um the fear of what's happened in the past this is gonna be a time of your priorities. Get them straight, know what's important. It'll make it a lot easier for you. Get rid of all those distractions, okay? Your crystal is a tachomite, okay? And with this, it's great for working with your sense of self. It helps you have greater compassion, works with your thyroid and nervous system, and also with the heart. So when this card indicates it's time to add some energy and drive to achieving your dreams, how can you bring them forward with enthusiasm and with purpose? So get rid of all the distractions, all those fears that have been telling you not to do it and go for it, all right? Now, in your health reading, you have the seven of staffs coming through. The seven of staffs is significant to the seven of swords, all right? And this is moon in Aquarius, and it can indicate issues with blood or circulation, and it also can denote dealing with a lot of stress. So with that, it recommends wood betony, okay? And let me look at what wood betony does. It's great for alleviating headaches and migraines, toothaches, and improves sleep quality. Um, also helps with curing colds and asthma and breathing problems. This herb can be used or mixed with other herbs. It can be used alone or mixed with other herbs. If you use it with comfrey, okay, you mix comfrey and wood bethany, this is gonna help treat congestions and colds and sinus headaches, okay? Now, this herb is generally safe to eat. However, there are some concerns that it might lower your blood pressure. So if you have something like that going on, always check with a doctor, all right? I am no medical physician. Now, the Commander Ashtar is coming in as a guidance call to action. I feel like you're being called to do something and you're going to be very well known. I think you work with, with children. I get a lot of um, solar plexus energy, uh, inner child work, like a lot of that coming through. So when um, Commander Ashtar shows up, he promotes truth and peace and harmony at the heart level. Oh, look at all that Leo energy coming through for you. However, you're receiving a call and you're being asked to step up and create the changes you want to see in the world. So take some time to connect to the universe, looking up the stars, know that you're not alone and you are going to shine bright during the season. All those beautiful seeds that you've planted are about to flourish. And if you're on the other side of the hemisphere, all those new connections that need to be made are going to be made with the courage of a lion all right guys be blessed have a wonderful wonderful time let me know which one you picked 
and how it resonates with you. All right, you can hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com or on the gram at arianaluciano. Be blessed.